Hi Leo, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly. It's going to run December, I'm sorry, <laughs> January 1st to the 7th, 2017. Happy, happy new year to all of you. Um, I just want to take a minute and to just say, you know, thank you. You know, to all of you that have liked, shared, subscribed, um, commented, you know, just all your positive feedback in the short time that I've been on YouTube. Um, you guys are amazing. Those of you that have, you know, trusted me to do your private readings, um, really, just, I really thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. Um, those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And really, thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. Okay, so I am using Doreen Virtue's Angel Tarot, um, Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine. All of the cards are by Doreen Virtue. Okay, and we are starting out with the Ten of Earth. Um, you'll know it better as the Ten of Pentacles. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. Beautiful card. So it's a ten. Completion. End of a cycle. You know, just things coming to an end. New beginnings. Um, it's just abundance, you know, it's, you know, you have a lasting foundation of success, you know, in business, you know, it's abundance and financial security are at hand with this card. You know, your life is just feeling and your family life is just feeling strong, stable, secure, peaceful. You're just bonding. You're just feeling really extremely blessed this week. Beautiful Leo. Archangel Oracle cards. Whoa, prosperity. Beautiful. Your material needs are provided for as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. This card. I haven't seen this card in a long time. Oh, what kind of prosperity do I want to say is upon you and your life? It's Nucopia. It's just up it's just bigger than you could have even asked for. And really just open your arms to receive whatever's coming your way. Some of the treasures, it could come in forms of br brilliant ideas, you know, that come with big opportunities. Coming in with the Ten of, Pen the ten of Earth. Um, that is a whole lot of prosperity, Leo. Fiona, messages from the angels. Now that you have asked for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So... Even, how do I want to say this? You know, 
you've been praying, you know, asking God and the angels for help. Well, this week, they're going to help you. You know, sometimes they watch you struggle with situations that could easily be resolved if you just let them help you. You know, they wait for you to give them a signal, a prayer, even just a simple thought of help. So they can get become involved in the in this in this situation to help you with the with the solution. You know, it's all about that free will. You know, God, just like the angels, there's that free will. If you don't ask, you know, all the angels and God want you to do. Is just ask them for help. Just a simple prayer. Help me, God, in Jesus' name, amen. That's it. I mean, mention, you know, whatever it is for you, your money, you know, career, relationship. Um, let's try it, right? They got to lose, right? Um, okay, messages from the fairies. Wow, new career. They're really... <clears throat> a lot of you, I feel like, definitely new career. You know, your, your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. You know, your dreams and prayers about your career. You know, the universe is responding to your spoken and silent desires, you know, to have a fulfilling, meaningful profession. You know, this card is just a reminder to just, please keep your, your, your thoughts positive and just continue to take guided action steps. Um, you know, just... Most of all, staying positive. I know sometimes it's easier said than done. But, you know, um, what do you got to lose? There's a lot of positive energy surrounding and a lot of green. I didn't even flip over the... the you know, green and blue is, is spirituality. You know, with this card, you know, your business idea will be successful. You know, trust and follow your intuition about, you know, any creative ideas that you may have about starting a business. Your financial situation is absolutely improving. Some of you absolutely at the beginning of the year could receive a promotion, a raise, and salary. These cards come out. You guys are the seventh sign that I'm doing. And I think I've seen it twice. Definitely, it's important to just try to stay as positive as, as possible this week. You know, pretend like you already have that raise, you have that job. Messages from the fairies. I was going to say, have faith. Your prayers and manifesting. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. But have faith. You've been asking and praying for some big dream to come true, and it's working. You know, just keep um, watering your dreams by taking, you know, positive action steps. Um... You know, it, it, it's a time in your life where You know, for, 
for your dreams. You don't have to strain or push, you know, to make them come true. You've already accomplished the major part, you know, by the manifestation, by asking and praying and trusting that heaven is helping you. Helping you in a way like a best friend would help you if they asked for your assistance. All you have to do now is just have faith. Listen for divine guidance this week. A lot of you are waiting for completion, end of a cycle, new job, career, promotion, bonus, flower therapy. This, this is also um, Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. Okay, we have release all anger. Don't give power to negative words by saying them. Speak from your higher self and make your communication peaceful and loving. Um... Okay, so with this card, you know, definitely some of you could be upset like upset recently. You know, and anger is a human emotion. You know, it's part of life. You know, and everyone is prone to feeling it. However, you know, your highest good would be served by letting go of those lower energies. Easier said than done, for sure. But if you continue along your path with rage in your heart, it will bring you nothing but pain. You have the power to alter the situation for the better. You know, there's... there's Ask yourself, really. I'm not being harsh. I'm being serious, but... And I apologize if it sounds... I'm not trying to make it sound harsh, but... I've learned over the years, really, what... What, um... What does it really get you? You know, when you keep anger and negativity alive. Sit with that for a second and really ask yourself that. I know where it got me. <laughs> I mean, don't misunderstand. I didn't like get arrested or go to jail or anything like that. But I mean, I revenge is bittersweet. It is. But at the end of the day, and really, when you're in the heat of the moment, you know. You guys are fire signs. I can think that's why I'm really... Listen, my best friend is a fire sign. I love you guys. You guys have fantastic hearts. You're energetic. But... You do not want to piss off a fire sign. Um, no, really. But I mean, you guys are awesome. But um, you just need to... Um, Really just think about that. You know, because you, you guys do. You know, if you really sit with that and think before you just react, you do have the power to, to definitely alter that situation. You know, for the for the better. Um and just you know, and keep it, let, let me, let me point this out too. You know, flowers, they are a meaning and a sign in all tarot cards. And it, I mean, it don't matter. There's a lot of flowers on this card. Um, abundance. There's abundance in this. Um. You know, 
definitely just let it go. You know, whatever it is, let it go. Speak words of love and peace this week. And it will, it, it really will dissolve the veil of, of anger that surrounds you. And those around you will really naturally meet your energy and become calmer. Try to communicate more lovingly this week. Tell those around you that you love them. And just try to process lower emotions in a safe way. You know, maybe just not add to them a little bit. Um, whatever it is for you. join in um, by the butterfly oracle cards so join in um, you know what is the card about being shy you know shyness to meet new people and you're just being asked to try to push that aside you know you probably don't think of yourself as sociable you know it's time to take action Get acquainted with like-minded friends and associates, you know, people at work. You know, your social fear stem from spending time with probably insensitive people. Um, You know, with that card, you know, definitely some of you could commit to a relationship. It's just, you know, the card really is an order to just meet new friends this week. Get out, join in. Like, not online or anything like that. You know, join in somewhere like a class, a group with others. Having conversations. You know, that kind of positive change, you know, in your social life does open new doors, you know, for you in other areas. And, you know, if you're spending time alone <clears throat> or with, you know, insensitive people, I mean, That's no fun. For a lot of you, I feel like it is a rewarding week financially. Some of you definitely, if you get out and about, could absolutely meet someone, maybe an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that brings you total completion, sun, moon, or rising, but it does not have to be. But definitely possibility. Okay, there's chemistry in your love and relationships. Um, the Romance Angels cards, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And we have, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Friends. We just went over this. Join in. Some of you are hiding out, lacking faith, mad. You 
you start out at the beginning of the week. Whatever it is for you. You know, whatever this anger is for any of you. You're going to communicate. I think you will definitely join in. I think Let Your Friends Here is really just confirming that. That by the end of the week, or really somebody from your past really is coming back. Um... Which would totally represent the relationships joining in. You know, maybe there was some tension there. He's broke up, maybe. That's why you need your friends to help you decide, choose, make a decision. But there's still chemistry. You know, now for others of you, you know, it could be someone from your past. That you had an intimate relationship. Um, and like I just said, you know, ended and now they're coming back. And then for others of you, it could really, if you join in and get out and about, like I said before, you could absolutely, you know, meet somebody. You know, you definitely know this person is definitely within your circle of friends. You know, doesn't necessarily mean you had to have an intimate relationship with them, but you know them. They're around you. They're with your circle of friends. As long as you release whatever this is that's holding you back. And I don't think that's for many of you. Really, it's just a week of, of really, I feel like, completion. Things finally coming together. You know, in your money. You know, those of you that are married or in, and in solid relationships. You guys are just grounded. You know. Family. Stable, secure. Beautiful week. Leo, beautiful message. Definitely a week of endings, new beginnings. Things coming around, turning around for you guys. Beautiful energy. All right, guys, I hope this reading helps you guys out for the week. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. The monthlies for January will be right behind these. Um, I'm going to try really hard to have them all out by the first. Um, I had a little bit of a family thing, this, you know, over the week. So, I mean, I'm going to try. But um, they will be up within the week if if. Um, not the week, you know, a couple days after the first, if I can't get them all up by the first. But I will see you guys back here soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.